The teenagers accused of shooting and killing a Columbia mother uh, declined to appear in court today. All of the defendants waived their right to appear at a bond hearing. Their 18 year old Troy Stevenson and 18 year old Lorenzo Young. The third arrest was a 16 year old juvenile whose name is not being released because he's a minor. 33 year old Kelly Honeywell was the only worker inside a Columbia bakery at the time when she was shot and killed in a failed robbery attempt. Investigators say the juvenile served as a lookout while the two other suspects went inside. And in the wake of Honeywell's death, a panel to review how the city handles repeat offenders has now been created. One of those suspects, 18 year old Lorenzo Young, was out on bond at the time of the murder despite repeated arrests for violent crimes, including assault and kidnapping. So this afternoon, Mayor Steve Benjamin released who was going to be on that panel. Former SLED Chief Robert Stewart will serve as the chair. Defense Attorney Johnny Gasser, who is a former U.S. Attorney, will also serve. It's also made up of eight other law enforcement, prosecutors, defense attorneys. The mayor says the panel is going to work to recommend ways to keep these career criminals behind bars and not on our streets. The defendants in this case last year was, was arrested by the City of Columbia Police Department, the Richland County Sheriff's Department, the Forest Acres Police Department, 14, charged 14 times, charged 14 times <laughs> on three different occasions. And um, it's our position that he never should have been back on the street. Uh, and, and if, in fact, uh, he had uh, been serving the time uh, that he had hanging over his head, uh, Ms. Honeywell would still be alive. Well, the panel is also going to be making recommendations to the State General Assembly as to how we can strengthen our laws regarding who gets bonded out of jail.